actual ramble, I know I've been saying a lot of stuff, but, um, I just wanted to say that, um, for my next video, on my 25,000 uh, subscribers special, I wanted to do, um, a Q&A for all you new people, and, uh, I did a poll on my community post, and you guys seemed to want it to, so I thought I'd give you guys an opportunity to let out all your questions that I'll answer in my next video, so just leave them in this comments of this video, or in that poll, or DM me on Instagram, just, I'll, I'll be able to see your questions, and then, uh, I'll answer them in my next video, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that, um, but yeah, I'll just get into the ramble, I guess, so, um, I usually don't like have anything written down. I just have broad ideas that I like to talk about, if, or else I'll forget about them, talking about them. But um, first of all, I just want to talk about this channel specifically and how how insane this ride has been. Um, if you didn't know, um, like two days ago when I'm recording this, this is my uh, one year anniversary of this channel. I started on January 18th, and. Uh, I don't think I've ever told the story of how I how I created that either. I was literally just doing homework at my desk, and it, it literally just like hit me in the moment. I don't know what went through me, but I was just like, I really want to record an ASMR video right now. I swear, I'm not even lying about that too. Um, I literally just put down all my homework, and I got out my little my little earbuds with a little mic in it, and that was right when I was getting into records and um i just got them laid them all out on the floor right over there and i just um laid out my stack and i just tapped on it whispered about a little bit about it it's still there too it's it's an awful video i mean you can barely hear me but i had a lot of fun making that and that's kind of what made me want to keep making them i just really had fun with it and i'm so glad i stuck with it because it's been like such a crazy experience. I just love being able to have a, some sort of platform to, to talk about anything that um, I'm passionate about on. And these type of videos especially is just giving these personalized uh, talks. And this is kind of what I like to fall asleep to. It's probably my favorite trigger, just listening to people talk about their experiences and stuff like that. Um, it's just been a crazy ride. Um, the support has been the main thing that stuck out to me. Like, I remember my first, like, 100 subscribers and how, like, insane that was to me because I did not know why anyone would want to watch my videos. I was really just making them for myself and just, um, having fun for myself. And I thought it was just fun. I, I made a video uh, talking about my top 10 albums, you know, like, I just love music a lot, as you might be able to tell by my, by my background, and my first 100 subscribers, um, ever since then, I was getting all love and support and, like, the kindest people, I'm not even lying when I say that it, you people have been the kindest people that I've ever encountered, it's so crazy, like, I thought I would at least get, um, like, people who weren't into ASMR just, like, bashing on me or something like that, but I really haven't seen any of that. I've just been seeing people being nice to each other in my comments, being nice to me. I, it's just, like, a big area to spread love, and, like, that's so, so fucking amazing. I'm so glad about that. Um... And I want to keep that, I want to keep that going. I want to have a platform to people uh, to connect over the similar interests. Like, I remember before I made my channel, I wanted a channel to be talking about um, music, you know, and music and all these other interests that I've always had that I thought there should be more ASMR channels about because I would totally fall asleep to someone talking about, like, Fleetwood Mac or the Beatles or Tyler the Creator. Like, I think those videos are so sick, and I want to keep making those videos. Actually, uh, speaking of that, I also wanted to talk about how upcoming in the future, um, near future, I'm hoping, I know I've talked about it before in my, like, video with Aiden, I think, um, we're actually going to do it. We're actually going to make a channel together. And uh, it's going to be me and my, my friend Joel and my friend Aiden. And uh, it's going to be 
everywhere. I've been using crutches 
person it's just it's a, a pretty minor inconvenience that kind of just you have to um deal with and it's just a little annoying today actually i just had a um, appointment for to get my wisdom teeth taken out too and um technically i could get that done next week and could you imagine that like having a sprained ankle and also having that pain in your mouth from the wisdom teeth i don't think i'm gonna do that i think i'm gonna wait at least like a month but i'm kind of excited for that just to see my my reaction to the anesthesia um i'm not excited for the pain definitely not that but i'm just excited to see what i say or what it's like to be um all all drugged up on those those <laughs> those dentist drugs i just love seeing the videos of people getting all um getting all messed up from those those anesthesia just saying the weirdest shit but like other than that school has been so demanding uh i've been taking ab bio this year and uh unless you're planning on being a biologist or yeah a biologist i wouldn't recommend taking that class i don't know if it's just my experience or my teacher or something like that but i'm not enjoying it it's honestly like the only class that has actually made me stressed out uh, like a lot a lot a lot i usually stay up to like 10 o'clock no 10 o'clock is an understatement that i've never gone to bed at 10 o'clock like in this past year usually like 12 30 i'm usually staying up until doing ab bio work it's just it's just busy work too just random papers and stuff like that and it's just it's never ending workload really never ending homework um so i definitely don't think you should take that if considering it just that's just me i mean i still have 100 in it um just because uh there was a bit of a scandal in my class and she felt my teacher felt bad so she offered us 300 extra bonus point uh opportunity for us to read a book and watch two movies so i was like i was like of course i was going to take the opportunity and so i've got like 250 extra bonus points in that class right now so i am very happy with that but it's still stressful i'm like i'm literally over 100 and i'm still stressed out about that class this just tells you how how annoying it is other than that the only classes that really compare would have to be like med chem um, we're doing organic chemistry right now uh, i'm not really a fan of that either i don't really understand it like chemistry is just a bunch of broad abstract ideas that you're expected to just like say that makes sense you know like i don't understand how a person could honestly completely understand chemistry and why it is the way it is and what even is it like thinking in terms of the things that are so small like like i don't know how you could just create an image in your head of what that even looks like like different carbon chains with hydrogens and naming them different things and it's so crazy to me that just a little bit of altercation with, with the placement of the carbon can have such a drastic effect i was actually re-watching breaking bad which i will talk about in one second i have a very strong passion for that show but um I was watching Breaking Bad and they said like there's two structures and just with one displacement of a carbon one is like a treatable um, medicine that is used to cure a lot of things I don't even know but the other is completely toxic and fatal to humans and I just think that's so interesting like a simple scrope or just the little tiny things have such an effect on the overall that's very prevalent in uh, life in general honestly we don't realize it but little habits make up life um little habits make up big habits and just small little changes actually have a, a, such a big effect and that is honestly shown through chemistry that's the one thing i've learned through chemistry honestly
honestly would bet money that any person who watched it would enjoy it. It's like probably the best show that I've ever watched. Um, it keeps you hooked. It's not a show that you would expect to be really good, like probably the first couple episodes, or maybe the first episode. Maybe it's not the best, or like just the 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 way it looks, kind of. It's kind of like not a show that you would expect to be really, really, really good. And the idea of it may seem boring, but it's, it's so much more than that. It's so like it's got the deepest plot I've ever seen in a show. There's so many little little things going on at, at the same time, and so many little little storylines to it. So many underlying storylines and themes, really. And if you haven't heard of it, it's basically a chemistry teacher who got diagnosed with lung cancer, and he decides to start cooking meth with a former student. And from there, I bet you can guess that some problems arise, and that kind of just shows. Like there's five seasons. Each season is just a freaking emotional roller coaster. Like the second to last episode of the fifth season, I think it's called Ozzy Mondias. Probably the best episode of television I've ever seen. Like the ending left me in shock. Like I was on my bed watching it, and after the the credits rolled, I was literally just like laying there, like eyes wide open, just like what the fuck just happened, like, I was, like, so shocked, I just couldn't believe it, I don't even know, like, that every episode will leave you with a cliffhanger and just something to, look, like, think about, and the acting is great, the, the, the plot, I, like I said, is amazing, the characters are so, are, like, they're so in-depth and detailed and relatable, I think it's just a really, really, really well-done show. Enough of Breaking Bad, even though I love that show, so definitely watch it if you haven't seen it. Oh. I forgot to talk about how um, I'm actually going to be starting driving too. Um, like this path has just been insane for me, so much weird stuff has happened. But after I sprained my ankle, I was supposed to be getting my driver's test on like last Saturday, and then I sprained my ankle the day before. So. Uh, and it's been right ankle too, the one that I drive with, so I, I obviously couldn't do that. But I'm not even that mad because I wasn't that confident in driving. I really don't think I'll be that good of a driver. It's kind of scary. Like I feel, I feel pretty comfortable, but just with my driver person, like I'm taking the driver's ed course, and with the guy that I'm doing it with, he's he's, he's kind of stressful. Um, like. I'll be doing my thing. I'll be trying to drive and just have a nice time and focus on the road. And like, I know it's his job, but he just keeps asking me questions and just making me like, like very nervous. And like, if I do one little thing wrong or something like that, he'll like scream and like, like hit his, hit his uh, little, little, what is it called? Oh, uh, what is it called? His little paper and that, um, the clipboard, clipboard is what's called, will hit it on his leg, and, um, it's definitely gotten me used to driving in uncomfortable and stressful situations, I'll, I'll give him that, but other than that, I don't really know what else he's taught me, I mean, I, I, he's, he's taught me a lot just about parking and stuff like that, but not in a way that I kind of wanted to be taught, it was more of a angered uh, teaching method than I've ever experienced. Um, it was pretty scary, so I'm just very excited to take the test and get him over with. But uh, once I'm able to drive, my life will be like, like changed. Like, I've been looking forward to it for a little bit now. Just being able to go where I want and uh, do what I want, really. so much more freedom and I'm especially excited for summer now like my next summer is gonna be so cool and fun because all my friends will have their license I'll have my license uh, my girlfriend will have her license we're just gonna I really like if you watch my other videos I have a lot of aspirations and kind of uh, things that I would like to do and I think being able to drive would really just just take that, take that to the moon, you know, I would, I would be 
close to this basketball season where I'm almost done with it. It does not feel real at all. I mean, I'm making the most out of it, I think. Um, I've been trying to live each day to my absolute fullest and being present each moment, and I, I feel like I'm succeeding at that. Um, I think, at least, it's hard to tell. I, it's, I've been having a really good time, and uh, I, I might just be overthinking about it, but I don't know why, it just feels really, really fast. This came to my head, but I was thinking about it, and my history teacher, um, I don't know if I've talked about him before, but he's like the sweetest human alive, basically, and, uh, he, we were talking about music or something in his class, and it's a, it's a world, that's probably my favorite class, we talk about all these philosophical ideas, and we're, right now we're talking about, are humans inherently good or bad, which I could definitely go on for, like, hours about, I just think that's a really, really cool topic, and, learn about like Hobbes and Locke and their perspective on humans, human nature, and uh, I don't know why, but somehow he decided to start talking about like music and uh, how he doesn't understand how people could listen to music and not give it its full their full attention, um, like how people listen to music in class and uh, they'll have one earbud in and listening to the other, and he's like he's like that that's insane to him. And I kind of feel him like, uh, he was, he was made a point to be like, how can you listen to Pink Floyd and not give it your full attention? And I definitely agree with that. I just, I think that we've gotten so used to music just being in the background of things and just not as a main thing, just letting it be a, a little on the side, you know, like not a focus. I think like when music was first started being made, like, it, when classical music came out, um, it wasn't, it wasn't really used all the time just as, like, a background thing. Like, when new things came out, they had to give it their full attention, you know, they, they had a lot of work to put on the music, you know, they either had to get a record and put it on there and, uh, start, like, cranking it or other music forms, I don't know how they used it, or, like, live music before they even had recording machines, uh, live music wasn't always just going on in the background, um, there were, like, performances for that stuff, and I think that's something really cool that, um, that he brought up, and we also just went into, we went into, like, a little spiel about, uh, records, and he said that, uh, if he hadn't given away his record collection, he would have given it to, given it to me, and that was, like, that was so sweet, he's, like, the sweetest man alive, I'm telling you, you guys would love him, maybe I'll get him on here one time, could you imagine that, ASMR with my history teacher, but he's really the sweetest man alive, he's, he's a, a big Japanese, like, or, um, he's a big fan of Japanese culture, um, but he's not Japanese, he's just, like, a old little white dude, he's, he's so cute, but, uh, anyway, I don't even know what I was talking about, to be honest, I, <laughs> sidetracked, but, um, yeah, I think that, like, that class is just an example of how, how I'm having fun in school, except for the AP bio, which, I mean, there's always good times in classes, there's always better times than others, and although it's stressful, I think finding peacefulness and stress is important, and I think I've been able to do that, um, I've been trying to keep up some more healthy habits. I've been trying to read a lot more too. I've been just taking care of my body. I've been doing a lot of more um, skincare because I've never really actually like done any skincare before, and I just thought like if I could start that. That'd be that'd probably be good for my skin in the future. I'm wearing sunscreen every day, even though it's January. I think that'd be a good routine to get into wearing sunscreen every day. I've heard that that's pretty important. But, um, yeah, um, uh, what else have I been doing? Actually, today, in the waiting room, um, I was looking at colleges that I want to go to, and that's kind of, that's kind of the next thing that I was thinking about. I think my future is always just in my mind, and I want to prepare for it, and what I want to do after 
guy's bass kind of scares me because I'm almost a senior and then um, just being out on my own. I know if you're out of high school then it just, it seems dumb because like obviously your life is like kind of really starts up to get to high school, you know, but I haven't experienced that yet so um, I'm nervous, you know, I'm not afraid to admit I'm a little nervous but I kind of find a lot of excitement in that scaredness um i've been looking at a lot of different colleges and been trying to decide if i want to go to one close to my my home or farther away and i've always been really interested in going farther away just to get a new experience or a new culture to uh, be around because my, my my high school is in a small rural town and uh that's all not always good for a lot of I mean, there's definitely a lot of nice people, but there's also definitely a lot of bad things, too. And I kind of just want to experience something different. Um, so I've just been, like, contemplating that a lot, like, over and over, just trying to figure out what I exactly I want to do. And I think I'm leaning a little bit more towards the psychology field and psychology or neuroscience studies, just thinking about how the brain works and that help other people deal with their brain or learn about their brain or just anything in that field. I think the brain, how the mind works, how thoughts work, anything like that, and like philosophical thoughts, I think that's what I want to base my career off of. And I think like being like a psychiatrist would be cool, just a, like a psychologist would be cool. I don't know. I don't really know that much, but I think this is what I want to go for. excited. I'm scared, but I'm excited. And I've just been trying to live my my high school days the best that I can, doing as much as I can. And this is one of the things that I'm actually really happy I started doing now, because it's honestly so helpful. It's like free therapy, just talking um, to you guys and just doing other things for you guys. And you guys talking back to me, you don't know how much it means to me for you guys to so kind to me. I said of me a lot, but it really just has this, such an effect on my mental health and uh, just my, uh, I don't even know. It's the craziest thing, just being able to, to see so many different uh, like people from different places. I think the coolest thing is seeing people commenting from different countries. And I would just like love to have a conversation with you guys just about what your life is like over there. And if it's that much different than mine or what like tiny things are different that I don't experience in America or even different states for that matter. I just think it's so cool. It's such a cool opportunity for me to be doing this. I, and I'm never going to take that for granted. I'm, I'm always going to want to be providing you guys with uh, different types of videos and content and that's why I want to make as much channels as possible. I want I want you guys to see me and all my my different uh, interests and ways and uh, I'm really excited for that too because I feel it as a kind of form of self expression. I feel like my channel is that way too. I think I think I'm trying to build an accurate representation of what I am as a person. And yeah, I feel like I've been I've been making progress with that. And I think it's like a cool diary too because I can see all my past videos and what I was like, what I was thinking. It's and I could show my kids this too, you know, I think they stay on forever. And I could show my kids what I was like as a teenager, what I thought about, what my interests were, what I was scared of, just just everything and yeah, that's that's why I think it's so cool really. But yeah, this is a pretty long ramble. I just really had a lot of fun with it. So, um, yeah, uh, again, leave your guys' comments, uh, 